was nearly full of junior following me on the subway or something when I was younger, when I used to commute through DC. Where the kicks at? Where the pains? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? This is why I train in martial arts. He's got a clip on the uh, on the Victor Racism channel where he's talking to Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. Oh, by the way, yeah, I know who Neely Fuller Jr. is for all you people who want to call me a coon and a sellout and a traitor to my people. I am very well familiar with the work of Dr. Neely Fuller Jr. I'm familiar with a lot of people's work. In addition to being familiar with the Bible, I'm also familiar with some of the work of Dr. Francis Cress Wilson. I'm familiar with a lot of people's work. I've even listened to some speeches by David Duke. And just like with anyone else, I don't agree with everything that everybody says, although I, I agree with the, you know a lot of what the Bible says. But I don't agree with a lot of stuff that man, a woman says. Doesn't mean I can't learn something from it. Now this clip was pain, this was painful, man, because this is just, I even put a comment on that channel that this is entirely too true. I don't want to get a copyright strike, so in, in through that clip, when I feel like it, you're going to see me giving my comment in the blue judo gi, this is why I train in martial arts. And this is exactly one of the reasons why I train with martial arts. And you know what? If you don't like it, it's too bad. Don't say I'm lying because you know I'm not. If you spend any time in some in some neighborhoods, it, I know it's not just a black thing, but if you spend some time in some of the neighborhoods where there are a lot of people of my ethnic group, you know this can happen, especially if you're a member of my ethnic group. So stop tripping, stop fronting, and we got to take our lumps on this. And you get on a bus. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, you know, it might be 10 or 12, and in many cases, as many people know from experience, 10 or 12 black people on that bus who are very disenchanted about something, very dissatisfied mm -hmm. with something, and looking for a fight. This is why I train in martial arts. And you just the person that they're going to get the fight with. Because you just got on the bus and you look like you might have a job. And this person that hadn't had a job in four years and just got out of the lockup, what not? I mean, and you looked at them as if to say, you know, uh, who are you? Or you didn't look at them. This is why I train in martial arts. Because you were busy reading a book or something. I mean, pertaining to your job. And that person just might start sounding off. Say, yeah, I bet that guy thinks he's something sitting up there reading that book. Yeah, he thinks he's something. He thinks he's something special. Yeah, I know Negroes like him. Yeah. He ain't no good to the race at all. Sitting up there reading that book. That white man book. You know? This is why I train in martial arts. Now he's talking about you, and then all the other black people who feel the same way, they're looking at you. All right, now you just left a meeting talking about black people's problems. Now you got a problem on that bus. Mm -hmm. You know, because now when you look up from that book, then the guy's going to go to the next stage of what you call the ghetto procedure. Oh, you looking at me like you don't like what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, well, I got something for you. Now he's gotten up out of his chair. This is why I train in martial arts. All right. And he came, will come and stand over you. I know a lot of people out here know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. You've seen it or seen something similar to it. See, now you you you, you just keep on reading that book. I mean, that best thing you can do is don't be looking at me. You know, I'm minding my own business. You know, I mean, you don't know who I am. You don't know who you're messing with. <laughs> All right. So now your next cue is what does the code say you do? Do you look up and say, hey, fella, I got something for you. This is why I train in martial arts. And now, is that what the code calls for? No. Because that's exactly what he's looking for. <laughs> you to react. Yeah. No, what you try to do is go further into that book if you possibly can. Don't look up no more. That's the best you can do. Why? Because if you do anything else, there's a rumble on that bus. Mm -hmm. And you're right in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
I'm going to give you a bonus, a martial arts tip. If you're reading a book, or even if you're reading something from a styrofoam notebook, if you curve it on the side like this and strike at the bridge of the nose like that, you can make their eyes water and make them let you go. And if you don't believe me, I did this when I was a kid. I did the same thing to someone who was picking on me with a stack of graph paper. So there's a little martial tip for you if you want to know how to make your book into a weapon. Don't do this. No, do this. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people like to talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And apparently it's not just me who's had to deal with situations like that. And peace. And read. No matter what they say.